All right, good morning, everyone. Louis Borsellino, man over market. Uh, Anthony, pull over, pull up the stuff that's out today. All right, Friday, March 27th, and uh, stocks have been down four days in a row. Um, let's go. I'm going to start with profile, but we can pull up my uh, ES chart. Okay. That's all stuff. All that stuff was out. GDP was at 7:30. Corporate profits were at 7:30. Uh, consumer sentiment today at nine, and Janet Yellen speaks again at 2:45. Yay! Uh, okay, so um, there's market profile from yesterday. This is day only. All right. So we've gotten. If you look here, we've we've been moving down with lower modes, lower modes, lower modes. Okay. 20-day average is at 2064, okay? All right. So we've had, uh, what's this? Uh, one, two, three, four, five down days in a row. All right. Uh, from the Fibonacci point of view, let me go find that chart. Um, I believe it's up here. No, that's not it. Well, let's talk about this, and then I'll pull it up later. All right, so if you take a look at profile from yesterday, okay, and look where most of the day was spent through, let's say, through here, through here, and then you look at, you know, the night action. This is this was a consolidation day here, put in volume and from here to here, okay? All right. Then you take a look at all the time that we spent and the mode closing here. That should be um, a negative uh, that when you see that sort of formation with time above volume, you're talking about um, the market moving down. What do we have down that can confirm that? You're seeing gray areas over here, right in here, okay? And so we need volume to fill in down in this area. Plus, we have an unfinished bottom here. This is unfinished, and we have the single prints, which are unfinished. And we have the, this is the, the, uh, uh, Globex low from yesterday. All right. So that's what we're looking at. Um, we got our bull bear zone at 2053. Uh, 2053 okay. And um, that's what I'm looking at. All right. Now, I don't know if we got enough. Get the biases out. I don't know if we have enough to stay down today, but I think we're going to fill in in here and possibly have a two sided trade. About two sided trade today. Okay. All right, we got a positive bias on the S&Ps, okay? The bias is starting to kick in now. All right, so let's look at this. Um, this is a 30-minute this chart. All right, um, starting to get a little colorful, but we're going to have our bull bear zone up here at 2053. High of value is 2052 and a quarter, 2048 is the point of control, okay? And we're going to have the bottom of value right here at 2042.75. And if you see yesterday, this is where the rally started from. We were talking about when we were doing the, uh, when we did the uh, live trading yesterday, I talked about the middle here, and we moved out of the middle, and once we got above this area of 44, we went and got up in here, okay? Um, let me show you something from last night, too. Let me bring the profile in because I'm a nut. I woke up early in the morning, and I saw this, so I thought I'd share it with you, right? So at 3 o'clock in the morning, 3.30 in the morning, I woke up, and I just came down here to look at the market, did some splits. So when we split it yesterday at F, okay, you can see that the market last night, okay, came in and took this out. And we split it at D down here, and this was this was the low of that. That's the low of that that band yesterday, right? And it stopped here, and it's rallied back up to this area. Okay, all right. So I think that th this area is telling us that we have to get filled in. All right. This is how we made the low last night. And then let me show you another thing. That's why sometimes this is. You know, I watched this thing for an hour and a half last night because I had nothing better to do. It went straight down, too. Look at this. 
So it started in Q and just kept going all the way down and bottomed out here in S. So it spent an hour of straight, straight down, down tick into the lows, and then it consolidated and went back up in this area. So um, 51, if it doesn't get above 51, I think we're good, all right, on the downside. But, of course, this is the S&Ps, right? So they're going to make sure that they test the 51 before they let you know if it's going to fail up there. So you got to kind of be careful. All right. All right. That's what I got with the profile. Okay. All right. Let me move it here. So, like I said, watch the 51 area, and then ultimately 2053 is the bull, bull bear zone. Okay. Uh, we move back inside of here. We take out this this 40 area. I think if we take that out. All right, 41, we're going to then go down to the bottom of uh, all the single prints and so on. All right, that's what I got on that. All right, so uh, let me bring gold in here. All right, so with gold, we got um, uh, 26, 20, 60, 20 as the value or a high, 20, 1,204.90 as the point of control. Bull bear zone will be 1,203 even, okay? And then we got the bottom of value at 1,201.20, 1,201.20, all right? And uh, we're still bullish gold. All right, let me bring in, uh, oh, a little bit of a mess this morning. All right, let's bring in bonds, okay? Still bullish bonds, all right? We got the top at 165.07, point of control at 163.01, bull bear zone at 162.07, and then we got the bottom at 162.08, 162.08. We'll bring oil on top of that. All right. Oil's making been impressive the last couple of days. It keeps rallying. It's being resilient. Okay. All right. Bull bear zone right here at 5040, 49.81, 51.42 point of control, 51.65. So I think if we get outside of here again, it'll start trying to test this high up here at 52. All right. All right. Now, S&Ps, I just want to find the... All right, let's go back to, let's make this a five-minute chart, get the five-minute pivot. All right, see where we are. All right, so five-minute pivot is at 2048 half. 2048 half. It's in a cell. We got the Dow in the cell. We got the NASDAQ and the Russell in a buy. The NASDAQ pivot is 4301. 60. Let's say 4301.70. We take that out. It'll go into a cell. Russell's at 1225.20. Um, I'll put it out on Twitter for you. All right. So once again, I think we're going to, we got to get back in this zone, take out 41. We'll take the single prints out. I think it'll fill in on the bottom, and I think we have a two-sided trade in store for us today. Um, maybe this is the chart I'm looking for. That is not the one I'm looking for. i got to find my, my – uh, let me find it. Uh, let's see. Here we go. All right. So this is the Fibonacci chart. Let me put it on the day chart. Day. All right. And there we go. We got one, two, three, four, five lower days. All right. I I do have a target down here at 2020, but you know I think that today we're gonna we're gonna get some movement down. Look for some consolidation. 
possibly take out Globex lows if we don't from yesterday, not today, that, that 2036 low, and it starts moving back the other way, look for the market to move back up. All right? All right. So everybody have a good day, good weekend, good luck trading. Bye.